Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to download, install, and use TinyTask for all Roblox games. Let's go. All right, guys. So step number one is to go to the comments of the video you're watching right now and find my pinned comment that I'm going to leave there when I release this video. And I'm going to have a link to my website, which is called ltcrazy.com. Click that link and the page will load up. Now, once you're on here, because I am, you know, mainly a PetSim channel now, click the PetSim99 button and I got some tools on here, guys. And the tool that you're going to be looking for is obviously TinyTask. That's why you clicked on this video. So click that and it's going to redirect you to the correct website for TinyTask, like the official one. Because sometimes out there, people are trying to scam you and send you to fake websites. But this one is going to take you to the right one. And once you're on here, guys, this is where we are now going to download the correct version, which is going to be right here on your screen. It's going to say download version 1.77. Click that. And then on the top right, it's going to pop up TinyTask. And, you know, whatever, you know, obviously I downloaded it twice to film this video. So I got a two up there. But for you, it'll probably just be one. So you're going to click that and install it. Now, if I click it, obviously it's just going to pop up because I already installed it in the past. But for you, it's just going to say like, you know, do you agree to these terms and services? You're going to click yes, I agree. And then, you know, where do I want to install it? And then obviously you put it on your, you know, hard drive or whatever you want. And boom you know yes you know open it up and bang it's gonna look just like this guys so let's talk about how to actually use it now for a roblox game okay so i'm gonna show you obviously in pet sim here because i'm already on the game and something that people like to do right now is like afk buy these dice like overnight and stuff so like obviously we would want to click here 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 and have it on some sort of loop where it does it all night i'm assuming that's why you guys are watching this video now i know every roblox game is not the same i don't know what you're doing on your roblox game but if it's probably something similar to this like souls rng or you know anything like this it'll work so as long as you want to have that continuous loop of afk auto clicking and you know buying something over and over and over again then it's going to work perfectly for you guys so once again have your tiny task up pull it up open it up whenever after you installed it you're good to go now i like to have it on the side personally i actually like to have it on another monitor like i could drag it to my le right monitor my left monitor whatever one you guys have if you have two three whatever one above one below whatever the heck your setup looks like i like to have it on another one just because when i click the record button and i click on the screen you see how it disappears like that i don't know how to make it stay on the screen so if i have it on the other side like other monitor it'll just be there for good but i'm just going to show you guys regardless here how this works so click record right click here 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 and here okay now go to your bottom of your screen or your other monitor and just pop up the tiny task again and it's still here you see how it's red that means it's still recording so just click record and boom now you have that recording safe right so one thing that i'll say is like i said if you're on one monitor and you click like again and you like you know you play that loop right what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up clicking record so just move your tiny task up a little bit and now go to preferences make sure continuous playback is on okay now if that's on you're good to start this loop right so click shift control alt and p at the same time and now your loop has officially started guys and what you're gonna see happen here is my thing's gonna take a little bit it's gonna go down to the my other monitor it's gonna open up the tiny task again you can see obviously it popped up there but because I moved it up a little bit, it's not going to click the record button again. So you're golden. You don't have to worry about that. It's just going to keep popping up and opening it up again. But that doesn't matter. And if you think that this is too slow for your game, you could uh, obviously go ahead and stop this. Shift, Control, Alt, and P again if you guys forgot. Open up your Tiny Task Preferences. And you can set your custom speed, guys. So if, if that's too slow for you, click Play Speed 2x or 100x. I mean, that, that might be a little too quick. That might break your computer and set it on fire. So don't, maybe don't do that. Maybe 2, 5x, something like that. That's going to be golden for you. But that's pretty much it, guys. And then obviously, if you want, you could save your you know recordings there. I don't even do that. I just make a new one every day. I'd have to use this. So it just makes my life a little bit easier, I feel like. But that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks and tutorials for Roblox and just you know specific Roblox games. We got it all covered. And don't forget... Go back to my website. I got some giveaways here for some certain games. Just go to the giveaway page, guys. And once this loads up, you got a pet sim giveaway and a toilet tower defense giveaway. So enter both, enter one, enter none. I don't care what you do, but it's a chance to win a cool item in some cool Roblox games. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.